Hey there guys, Mike here. Mike's DVDs and Blu-rays collection is back with some pre-code musicals. That's right guys. Um, I did a uh, pre-code uh, episode recently and I thought um, I'm really a big fan of the early Warner Brothers uh, musicals that they put out. Uh, you know, like 42nd Street and stuff and, and the uh, dance numbers by Busby Berkeley, which um, I will feature him a little bit here. Um, so um, a couple of these I upgraded from DVD to Blu-ray finally and uh, Warner Archives put out some really good editions of these. Now this is one of my all-time favorite movies, um, musicals, whatever. Uh, it always puts a smile on my face. It's always entertaining not how many times I've seen it. Great songs in it. Uh, I'm talking about 42nd Street. That's right. And uh, this is the Warner Archive Edition Blu-ray. Uh, it's basically kind of a carryover from the DVD uh, with its special features and stuff. But man, this is a great movie from 1933. Uh, just magical uh, dance numbers and Busby Berkey, Berkeley. Uh, this is directed by Lloyd Bacon, but really this is all Busby Berkeley's show, and it really shows. And again, here's another one. Uh, I upgraded this uh, to Blu-ray, I think at the time. I may have shown this before. Um, I had just got the, found the DVD copy of it somewhere. But then, but then this uh, Blu-ray came out. And I could have kicked myself if I would have waited a little bit longer. Uh, but this is the Gold Diggers of 1933. And again, you got another, a lot of the same characters, uh, this time directed by Mervyn Leroy. Uh, but then you got all the great Busby Berkeley numbers and stuff in it. Uh, apart from, you know, We're in the Money and different songs like that. Really cool, very interesting. Uh, Shadow Waltz is one of the standout numbers and everything. So Gold Diggers of 33. Uh, this is something I, I found recently, which kind of inspired me to, th to think about some of these musicals again. And this is the uh, Busby Berkeley disc. And uh, this is basically a DVD carryover of the Laser Disc of the same name, which basically just has all the dance numbers, the musical numbers from all these movies. It's, I think they, I think they sample about eight movies, and they put all the best songs, numbers, and everything in it. Uh, so it's about two hours of 21 musical numbers, legendary. Uh, Busby Berkeley stuff and it's got some extras and everything on it, but that's really cool um, I got the D uh, laser disc also uh, which is a lot more colorful and has a lot more to it than this kind of plain DVD of this one Now here's the um, thing that I'm kind of upgrading from a little bit uh, but this one has two movies that I don't have that's not on blu-ray yet. Uh, this is one of those uh, Turner classic movies uh, Buzz, uh, you know greatest classic film sets. There's tons of these uh, This one is Busby Berkeley musicals and uh, the two movies that I, I don't have separately are dames Which technically is 34 so it's kind of it's on that teetering of the pre-code and then you got the gold diggers of 37 which isn't pre-code but it's still busby berkeley and the great warner brothers music numbers and all that good stuff but it's also got footlight parade 42nd street on there so that's a, a good little collection now i had this collection for very many years and then i upgrade it to that uh, blu-ray and speaking of uh, Footlight Parade, now this is the Warner Archive Collection edition that I uh, upgraded to. And uh, I believe this is, I kind of, I don't know if they've cleaned this up a little bit if, or if it was restored or anything, but Footlight Parade, uh, James Cagney, uh, Fast Pace, just one of those great zip 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 movies you know they warner brothers was cranking them out but they were cranking out some gold man they were some good stuff so footlight parade again one of the biggest and best uh warner brothers pre-code musicals now this one's from 33 also 
And this one, we go back a few years. Uh, this is on a Warner Archive DVD. Uh, this is an Eddie Cantor movie, actually. This is called Whoopi. And uh, it's, it's kind of part Technicolor. Uh, but the big, the big deal with this is some of the first Busby Berkeley numbers that he would do. Uh, I, I'm, I'm trying to think if, remember if just the musical numbers are in Technicolor or, if the, or the whole movie is in Technicolor. Uh, but, but yeah, it was directed by somebody named Thornton uh, Freeland, which who knows what happened to him in Hollywood. Uh, but yeah, this is from 1930. Uh, Eddie Cantor was a big Broadway star, Zig Zigfield Follies and all that good stuff. And he came to Hollywood and did a bunch of movies for Sam Goldwyn in the uh, 30s, all through the 30s. And then um, in the 40s, he was with like Warner Brothers or somebody. Uh, but this was one of the, his earliest movies and probably my favorite movie of his. I remember seeing this so many years ago when I was a kid. And um, what I was really interested in watching this movie was the Technicolor, the uh, three strip Technicolor, which was, you know, I had never seen so many. Like nowadays, we take it for granted, the three strip Technicolor, because it's been released. A bunch of movies have been released on video. But at the time, this was, um, I think I rented a VHS and made a dub of it and copied it and stuff. But uh fast it's just fascinating you know it's kind of stage bound but once those musical numbers of Bur busby berkeley uh breaks in it kind of just frees that camera somehow but really interesting and uh very entertaining actually it's got some really good uh songs uh making whoopee uh my baby just cares for me songs like that like you you remember those tunes from cartoons and different stuff like that so whoopee and finally, guys, this is definitely, this is not a musical, but I, I wanted to throw it in there because it's a pre-code movie and a very good pre-code. Um, this is from MGM in 1933. Uh, this is a uh, Warner Archive release. Uh, this is Bombshell, starring the great Gene Harlow and the even greater, in my opinion, Lee Tracy. He was such a madcap guy he was just he would talk a mile a minute he was like always in newspaper movies or he was always a playing a reporter or something and in this one he's kind of a publicity agent for gene harlow and stuff and this movie is just crazy and so much fun to watch and it, it just has pre-code written all over it um all kinds of really really cool stuff uh, this was directed by victor fleming and um, it's got an early role by Francois, Francois, Francois uh, Tone, sorry, uh, Una, Merker, Una Merkel, and uh, Ted Healy, who at that time was Ted Healy in The Three Stooges. Uh, but he's just solo in this movie. So very, very interesting movie. Um, I believe it is not on Blu-ray. This is the only way you can get it. This is one of the made-on-demand ones. And... Um, really cool really funny so there you go guys there's some pre-code musicals and a little extra uh basically featuring busby berkeley more than likely so let me know in the comments what you think about those and um, uh, just give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this episode and um, until next time guys i am mike thank you for watching and uh, check out some of those movies today